Hello and welcome back to the Triumvirate. Today, me and Ian are playing 2,000 points of Crimson Slaughter versus Ultramarines and Cadians. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy! Right, so today we are back on the planet of Nebulon. The uh, Ultramarines were defeated here last time after falling into a Crimson Slaughter trap. Now the Crimson Slaughter are running amok through the, the cities. Uh, the Imperial Guard have been pushed back and the Ultramarines have come in for revenge to try and push the Chaos Forces back off this planet. So the mission is Frontline Warfare. Uh, there's going to be four objectives, one in each of our deployment zones and two somewhere else on the board. Uh, you're going to get one victory point for controlling your own, four for controlling the enemy's objective, and two for controlling either of the other two. Uh, there's also Slay the Warlord, First Blood, and Line Breaker, as usual. So, going on to the armies. Welcome to my 2000 points Crimson Slaughter. Um... Army. And, uh, army with three <laughs> detachments, Ooh. which is a battalion detachment. Battalion. I got the one with the three heavy sport and one dude. Spearhead. And I got the one with three elites and one dude. Vanguard. I got ten command, ten command points. <laughs> ten whole command points. So, so um, in total. So. We start off with the battalion. We've got my warlord Archie. He's a terminate, uh, sorcerer in Terminator armor. He's got four sacks and combi bolter. He's got infernal gaze and warp time as his psychic powers. And his warlord trait is the special crimson slaughter warlord trait, which is Maelstrom of Torment, which is a minus to leadership. But it gets better if you kill someone. So. Nice. Nice. Hopefully, oh, there's guard, so I might actually, <laughs> that might actually break or something. Who knows? He has the marker Zench, and he's taken the special relic for psychos, which gives plus one to manifest in smite powers. My second HQ is a sorcerer without terminator armor. He's well hard. He's also he's also sexy. He's a sexy boy. He took the psychic power delightful agonies. Which is a five plus uh, special save because they're special boys. I've also got pre science, prescience, which gives plus one to my hit rolls because it's amazing. It's really nice. Also, he's got four sword, and he's uh, he's well nice. For troops, I got three scores of chaos space marines. Well, uh, two are seven man and one's an eight man. The seven man. One has a plasma gun, one has a metal gun. The sergeant's just a uh, bolt a chain sword. And the last eight man squad is a flamer and a bolter and a power sword and the sergeant there. So, well, nice. Fast attack. I got two spawn. Don't never use spawn before. So, it's going to be a lap. Right lap, Sands. So, they're well juicy. And then I got my other fast attack on my special raptor squad. Uh, which consists of five man raptors with a combi melter and power sword on the sergeant and two melter guns. Coincidentally, the first things I ever painted in my life. Wow. So, the, so if, Jay, if Jay kills them. I'll kill them first. <laughs> so if Jay kills them, obviously he's a bad person. The only other thing in my list is Havocs, which is consists of. Um, Four LAS cannons and uh, nothing on the sergeant. With the new updates, new rules and stuff, being toughness five and don't have to suffer heavy weapon penalties when you move. Well nice, well juicy. So in my spearhead detachment, I have a warp smith as my HQ, just comes bare bones. And I got a land raider with a combi bolter and 
scans, just regular LAS scans. And, and I got a Mauler Fiend and a Forge Fiend. Forge Fiend's got the dual auto cannons. Mauler Fiend's got the tentacles. Who doesn't love some tentacles? You know what I'm saying? And the last attachment is my Exalted Champion with a miss. And I am paying a command point already. Whoa. Boom! To give him the ultra special Black Mace of Doom, I believe it's called. So he's got the Black Mace. So it's just a really good mace. So it's really good. Wow. Wow. Wow indeed. And uh, he's also got a Combi Melter because it's on his backpack. And the elites are as follows. One Hellbrute with a Hellbrute Plasma Cannon, which I can't not overcharge. Which is great. But, Fluffy. But, but we, we won't say anything about that. At least I got the Warpsmith to repair him as he kills yeah. himself. Um, I got five man squad of possessed, just as they are. Pretty cool. And I got five man terminate squad with four sets of four pairs of lightning claws and one chain fist and combi bolter on the sergeant. Everything's got mark of corn except for. Uh, <laughs> except for the raptors, the havocs, and the sorcerers, Diamond Mark of Corn. They have, they have a Mark of Slash or Mark of Zench. It's explained. But that's it, sons. That's a well good list for a well good boy. <laughs> that's what my mother was. <laughs> now I'm going to hit you up some Ultrans and Cadians. Alright, so I'm playing a mixed list today. I've got the Acadians and Ultramarines. Uh, I've got a Battalion and I've got a Battalion. So I've got 10 command points and then I've got another 3 for being Battleforged, so I've got 30. So starting off with my Ultramarines, you've got Captain Akaran, he's back for revenge after the last game. Uh, he has got a Plasma Pistol, a Power Fist, and he has the Sanctic Halo Relic, which is a 3 up save. I get to deny a power in the Psychic Phase. He also has the Ultramarines Wall of Trait, which lets me get a command point back on a 5 up after I use a strategium. Then we got my Chaplain, he's just as he is, just normal Chaplain, Crotius, and a Bolt Pistol. Then we got a Lieutenant, he's got a Master Crafted Bolt Gun, and he's got the Teeth of Terror Relic. Going on to my troops, the two Tactical Marine Squads, one of them has a Melter Gun and a Combi Melter, and the other has a Power Axe and a Plasma Gun. Then we got a five man scout squad just with bolt pistols and combat knives. Uh, the sergeant has a plasma pistol and a chainsaw. Gone to the elites, you got five man terminator assault squad with thunder hammers and storm shields. Heavy support, we have a land raider crusader as we did in the last game. It's been repaired. <laughs> uh, he's just got the hurricane bolters and assault cannons. Uh, we have a Centurion Devastator Squad with Grav Cannons and Hurricane Bolters. A lot of points in that squad. Then, Dedicate Transport, we have two Rhinos. And then for my Imperial Guard, we've got Lord Commissar. He's just got a Power Sword and his Bow Pistol. Uh, we've got a Primaris Psyker. The Primaris Psyker knows Psychic Barrier, which is a plus one to hit rolls for a friendly unit within 12. And he knows Psychic Maelstrom as well, which is um, pick a unit with an 18 uh, and then on a 2 up they get a mortal wound and then if that goes through then on a 3 up I can do another one and then another 4 up and so on. Then they have 3 infantry squads, uh, they've all got auto cannons, one of them has a plasma gun, one of them has a grain launcher and the other is just, just the auto cannon. And then finally I have 2 Lehman Rosses in heavy support, uh, just 2 normal battle tanks. Battle cannons and heavy bolters for sponsons and the hull mounted weapon. And that is my list. Go on to the deployment. Alright, so we need to have uh, placed our objectives. So there's four objectives. The one in your own deployment zone is worth one point to you, it's worth four to the enemy. It's hammer and anvil deployment, so it's 12 inches in the middle, so we're fighting across the, the, uh, the longest way, if you will. Uh, so there's Aiden's objective there. He's deploying on this side by this Mechanicus bit that, that stretches off into the desert somewhere where we fought last time. Um, and we've got the two in the middle, so we've got one here and one there. Those are worth two points each. And then we've got one over there, which is my one. So that's going to be worth 
four to Aiden and only one to me. We're going to deploy our armies and then we're going in. All right, me and Aiden have deployed our armies. So over on my side here, uh, we've got my most of my guardsmen. The two squads there, the Psyker and the Commissar. Uh, got Lehman Ross at the back here. Got my scouts just doing something in the corner, <laughs> denying the incoming uh, forces from dropping in behind us. Uh, here we've got the Rhino with the Melty Gun squad in, the Combi Melter. Got the Centurions. Got Captain Akaran, the Land Raider with the Thunder Hammer Terminators, the left hand, and the Chaplain inside. And we've got the other Rhino with the uh, Power Axe squad, Lehman Russ, and then the other Guardsman squad there. And going over to Aiden's side, we've got Marine squad, Plasma Gun, Hellbrute, Forge Fiend. Right in the back here, we've got the Havocs. We've got another Marine squad with the door. Um, Mortal Fiend. And then over here at the back, we've got a Land Raider. Who's in the Land Raider? My Exalted Champion, my Warpsmith, my Sorcerer, and the Five Possessed. But... And then here we've got two spawn and another Marine squad with a Melty Gun. And then ready to Coming in from the reserves, we've got Archie the Sorcerer, we've got the Raptor Squad, and we've got the Terminators ready to teleport in. Right, I've used my teleport homer as well, so the scouts have been putting that down in the corner over here. That's what they're doing, Aid. Oh, there you go. Setting it up ready. There you go. So, uh, Aiden has deployed all his army first, so we're going to roll off, and Aiden gets plus one to this roll, and if he wins, then he has to choose whether to go first or second, and then I can seize the initiative if I like. All right, so we're going in. So uh, Aiden has won the roll off. Do you want to go first or second? Um, I will go first since you are the defenders of the city. Ah, I am the uh, assaulter. Right. Do we know you're coming? Is the question. A J Aiden. I'm gonna try and seize the initiative on a six. I get to go first. Oof. Oh, re-roll. <laughs> Looks like so, it's a surprise attack, lads. We know you're coming, but we don't know where from. Where from. So, going on to Crimson Slaughter, turn one. End of Crimson Slaughter movement phase. Um, Landry's popped out, and little social boy's disembarked. Just to there, she's going to do some psychic powers where he's protected. And everyone else has just moved up. We're going to secure up some objectives in the name of Crimson Slaughter, in the name of Cranon, and uh, whoever the exalted champion is, Paul. <laughs> Paul Slaughterborn. <laughs> Paul Slaughterborn. Listen, <laughs> alright. <laughs> what a name. It's a hell of a boy, yeah. hell of a lad. Havoc's moved up because they don't get any like negatives to hit in, which is dank. And that's about that. That is about that, son. So I got a bit of shooting. So we go on to the sh uh, we go on to the psychic phase actually first. On to the psychic phase. Just a quick psychic phase. I got the delightful agonies off. So they got that five plus uh, disgusting resilience sort of thing. Uh, I failed to get the plus one hit on them though. But it's all good in the hood, baby. We'll make it work as. Uh, the crown on the relentless likes to say. As the crown. The crown on. He's, listen, I'm just saying, 1v1 me, Avedon. Any day I'll take you to the cleaners. Probably not. <laughs> anyway, going on shooter phase. So, pretty successful turn. Dropped a couple of guardsmen over there. Um, I shot at the Centurions and the Rhino with the Laz Cannons, thanks to the. Endless Carcophony, where I get to shoot again at the end of the phase. So that's cool. And over this side, the Land Raider shot at the Lumerus and rolled a perfect 12 on the damage. So he blew up. Rip. Rip. Uh, I did have to spend a number of command points though, so I'm down to 6 right now. Sons. So, but that is the end of Crimson Slur. Turn. <laughs> Slow up. How do you do an eye? 
Get on with it. Right, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. End of Crimson Sword, turn one. Going on to Ultra Rings, turn two. Well, one. One. Yeah, I went first. Yeah, one. All right, end of the Ultramarines and Cadian's moving phase. So these guys have stayed still where they are up there. Uh, moving in, we've got the Crusader and the Rhino. In the middle here, we've got the uh, Marines who've jumped out of that Rhino. The Rhino advanced to move an extra inch. And then down here, we've got the Centurions and Captain Akran. Uh, he is within six of everyone there and also the Land Raider. <gasps> Strats! And then over here, we've got... Uh, all the Cadians, apart from my heavy weapons, just moved up just so I can get a few more in. Oh, actually, probably not even in rapid fire still, but getting closer anyway. Uh, those two characters stayed still, as did the Lehman Russ and the Scouts over there. So, going on to the Psychic Phase. Into the Psychic Phase, the Psyker cast um, Psychic Barrier on the Lehman Russ. So he's got plus one to his save. Uh, so now we're going on to the Shooting Phase. End of the shooting phase, the Imperium. Uh, we've got a couple of wounds down here on this Morlor Fiend. Uh, Land Raider just wiped out the spawn by there, just to annoy Aiden. Um, over here in the middle, uh, we shot the Centurions into the Hellbrute, and now he's gone. And then a couple other shots from various Guardsmen units and stuff. Took down the Chaos Marine squad there to only two guys. Would you like to mo roll for morale? I would like love how many, to know. How many guys died? Uh, five. Five I guys. Roll, so. roll dice, please. Well, this is plus five. Oh, you're right. You should be fine. Uh, yeah, you should be fine. You should be eight. All right, so that's the end of my turn. Uh, no assaults, no charges to be made. So going on to Crimson Slower, turn two. Start of Crimson Slaughter, turn two. His in dog-like state, he got a wound back thanks to an internal mechanism, I think it's called. You get a wound back at the start of the turn for all, for him and Samurai's over there. Samurai's wasn't hurt, though. Everyone has moved up. Las Cannons, uh, they've stayed still. But we've got Melters, uh, at least four Melters in there. And Frodo is going in, going in to have some dinner, you know what I'm saying? Samwise has stayed still, so he shoots normally now. Blaskan's moved up, Bangladesh has moved up to provide psychic support. And two little warriors have claimed Shat Square. Um, how long they'll keep it for is another question, since there's Centurion Devastators hiding in the ruins. We'll have to deal with them though. As we go into psychic phase. Sad psychic phase again. Play sad Mass Effect music. They didn't get pressures off, but they got Marcus and Ash off. Not that anyone's gonna shoot them. But still. Oh well. Going on to shooting phase. End of Crimson Slaughter turn uh, shooting phase. Um loads of damage. On the Land Raider, took him down to six wounds remaining. And then the boy, Frodo's gonna charge him, so hopefully you make um, ends meet there. Uh, I took out the Rhino and one Guardsman, I think it was. Uh, yes. And that was it. Uh, I used. What is it? Endless Cophony. I spent two command points. Missed every shot. Yay! Uh, I blew up the rhino with my boys, and I didn't roll a five plus. So my 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 there goes his strategy jump. Uh, my chapter tactics. chapter tactics did not pull out for me. What a chapter tactics I have! Renegade tactics, literally the worst. <laughs> oh. but there we go. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. With it. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm cool. Going on to assault phase. I think we need one assault. Yeah, that's it. One assault going in to the land. Charge phase. Charge phase. So at the end of the fight phase, after everything was done and I activated Demon Forge and he lost two wounds in over. Oh, you have an attack back, actually. Oh, land raider coming in. I think you have one attack. One attack. 
Oh, 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 so after that epic duel, uh, um, the Lion Rays down to one wound. Taken from six to one, which is underwhelming, to say the least. <laughs> totally uncanny. But there we go. Is it true? It's true. It's true. Um, and that is the end of Crimson Storm turn two. We have to go into our trains. Turn two. End of my moving phase, turn two. Uh, Cadians have stayed still, pretty much just shuffled the characters around. Over here they've stayed there as well, Scouts and the Lehman Russ. In the middle, uh, the Marines have advanced into the alleyway there. Uh, I can shoot the Melter Guns still because they're assault weapons, so I can shoot them into the uh, Mole Fiend. Captain has just moved out a bit so you can shoot his Paz Pistol. And the Centurions have moved up just so they're within range of the Mole Fiend as well. And then over here, the main treat. The Terminators have jumped out the Land Raider, as has the Captain, another Captain, the Left Hand, and the Chaplain, back for revenge. And then we also have these Marines, we've got the Rhino as well, ready to get a few shots off. Going on to Psychic Phase. Psychic Phase, uh, I tried to cast Psychic Barrier on the Lehman Russ again, but unfortunately I failed. So, there you go, sir. So, going on to the shooting phase. <laughs> so, Aiden's dreams have come true. He's used his Crimson Slaughter ghost tactic. Ability. His ghost realm. So, he picks a piece of terrain and everyone within three uh, is minus one to hit. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. That's All the units in three are minus one to hit. So, everyone here is now minus one to hit, unfortunately, because they're within uh, three terrible. inches of this, of this terrain. Yeah. Ooh. So, I mean, Aiden finally got to use his little Crimson Slaughter Ooh. markers. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> so they've been sent to the ghost zone. Ghost zone, baby. End of the shooting phase, so the Maul Fiend has been destroyed. And a few Marines here have been taken down. That was just combined fire from everyone here. Uh, the ghost zone didn't affect me too badly. Great. Could have been a bit better for me, but I mean, oh well. Uh, over here, um, the Lehman Russ took down a few wounds on the... Uh, forge fiend there, and after shooting all these guardmen, couldn't even take down this one boy who's still hiding in, hiding in there. Uh, so, going on to the charge phase. Alright, end of the fight phase. Very good for me. Um, the Terminators, the left hand and the chaplain, charged the three units here. So, you had the two Marines, the Raptors, and the Land Raider. Um, killed all the infantry, and then Consolidated and I fought again with Honor the Chapter. Just three command points. You get to pick an infantry unit and fight again. So fought again and killed the Land Raider with the Terminators. And then all his boys have come up. Two of them died. Two, oh, two, of, the, two of the possessed died, sorry, as well. And the Land Raider died. Uh, so going on to Chaos Turn 3. the end of my movement phase the possessed the warpsmith and the exalted champion are all going in uh, they're gonna have lent firepower from these boys over here and maybe the lascans but we'll see about that the lascans also got shot in the centurions over there so but the big one is archie's in and his bodyguard and they're eyeing up this objective right here see if i can get it and there's Jay. Bring it on, chaos scum! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the commas? <laughs> no, I see a chaplain. Commas right there. Well, he's aiming his ball pistol at the back of the guard. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, actually, I was gonna. <laughs> I was he's doing what he's meant. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> Aim your gun, guardsman scum. <laughs> right, and we're going to the psychic phase. See if we can do some smite. So. Bad, bad psychic phase. Uh, three of the powers were denied or failed to go off, and I killed a single guardsman with a mm. doing a mortal wound, infernal gaze. That's the one. So, go on to shoot in, see if that makes up for it. 
So the end of Crimson Slaughter's shooting phase, I managed to take down two of the Terminators and the Land Raider with the Warp Smith and various others. Um, I didn't do anything to the Centurions because I missed pretty much everything. And I killed about five guardsmen or four guardsmen, in, which is combi bothers and such. Um, so that's the end of that. I will now go on to assault phase or fight phase, charge phase. The phases. Right, so that is the end of the assault phase and the end of my turn. I lost one possessed in the Exalted Champion and I took down one of his Terminators. And over there in the morale phase, um, two guys fled and then the Commissar shot one because he locked them funny. And that is the end of my turn. Going on to Jay's turn four, no three. End of Imperial moving phase. So uh, we've just moved the chaplain and left hand up by there. Uh, these guys have moved up around the objective, possibly charging into those guys there. Over here, these Cadians have stayed still. Everyone in the middle has sort of moved up. Um, Captain advanced, unfortunately, only an inch, so he's just down there still. This wound is one of these guys. Um, these Marines advanced up to the top here. Over on the side, the scouts advanced another four inches, so they moved up to the build in there. Lehman Russ moved forward a little bit, um, shuffled around the Psyker there, just so he's definitely in range. And that is it. So, going on to the Psychic phase. Alright, so I'm going to do Psychic Maelstrom. Uh, Warp Charge 7, I'm going to select Archie as my uh, my target. So Warp Charge 7. And it fails. Shall I re-roll? <laughs> Shall I re-roll? I'm going for it. Can't dice re-roll, it goes off on a 10. On a 10, I got beat. He's coming in with his pair of uh, Deny. Hello. Oh, and he denies it. Well, there goes my super cool power. Alright, end of my shooting phase. Um, nothing much down here, we just did a wound to one of the possessed with the bolt pistol shots from everyone here. Um, the guys who advanced up here, I shot my melter gun and my combi melter into the fortune. Did I do any wounds to them? Yeah, you did loads. Six or something. Did a load of them. Um, and then over here I had the uh, Centurions, two of them shooting their grav cans into the Terminators over there, which I've killed um, two, two and, one and wounded one. one. And then this one shot his grav guns into uh, him as well, taking some wounds off. Um, apart from that, I think everyone else did nothing. Lehman Ross failed me this turn, so that's enough of him. Uh, going on to the charge phase. All right, end of turn four. Um, not looking good for this lone boy in here. His friends failed the morale. The He's door ran away. Day. And over here, uh, a wound is done from the... What's his face? The warp smith into the left hand. That's the end of turn three. Go on to turn four. So that is the end of my movement phase. Terminator just scurried up. Uh, as has the Forge Fiend, he's gonna have a munch. Last cans have moved over again, like a yo yo. The Sorcerer there has gotten into like closest to the Terminators, so I can smite them in peace. And that is that. Not a lot of guys left, and a lot of them are almost dead. So, uh, hopefully, this next cycle phase will be so good, it'll win me the game. Good luck! I need it! <laughs> and at the end of my psychic phase, the most successful psychic phase happened. Um, I got finally got prescience on the last cans. I did a mortal wound from Smite to the boys over there on the Terminator squads. I did. Let me go around here. Infernal gaze on them Terminators. No, big Terminators, chubby Terminators. I killed that one, the one on one wound. And I walked time these boys up there. So, kind of successful. As we go into uh, Crimson Slaughter. 
Uh, end of shooting phase, largely unsuccessful. Allows cans all hit. Ha, no wounds. So, uh, kill some guardsmen and a couple of scouts for a laugh. Because of chaos. And, uh, I like it. Uh, <laughs> so, going on to fight phase. So, the epic battle is um, going on. Everyone's wounded here. Everyone's unhappy. They killed my special champion dude there. Can't believe it. The audacity of it all. Re. <laughs> um, fortune charge then. He did uh, two damage to someone. He bit them. Slobbed all over his face. And they did nothing back. And I killed two guardsmen and lost one turn. Yeah. Like that. That's not a good trade. <laughs> Definitely not a good trade. And Archie failed to make it in, so he's just standing there. Like a lonely arch. But uh, that is the end of Crimson Sword of Turn 4. Alright, end of Turn 4 moving phase for the Imperial Guard and the Ultrains. Um, the Marines here have just gone into the corner of this building here, so you've got line of sight down to these characters. Uh, we've fallen back with the left hand and the chaplain. The marines have just moved forward towards the objective and the terminate is uh, just looking at them angrily. Um, over here the rhinos just moved up towards the objective. The centurions have fallen back from combat with the forge fiend. And the captain is now in position. If he doesn't kill it then he can charge and hopefully do something. And then over here fallen back with the guardsman. And the Commissar, the Scouts have moved up, and the Lehman Rush has moved forward a little bit. So, going on to the Psychic Phase. Alright, Psychic Phase, uh, the primary Psyker did smite, and he did a wound to a Terminator. So, going on to the Shooting Phase. Alright, end of Shooting Phase. Uh, so, combined firepower over here, we took out the two characters, of Opsmith and Bangladesh. Um, over here, we... Killed the uh, Forge Fiend. And then over there, uh, firepower from the Lehman Rust. And just a lucky shot from the Auto Cannon over there. Killed all the Terminators. So that's them gone. And that's the end of the shooting phase. Um, don't think there's any assaults. So going on to turn 5. Alright, so let's begin on turn 5, uh, Ains decided to call it, um, all he had left was Archie over here, and he had some uh, Havocs here, so not much he could do at this point. Um, so you got 4 points here for holding Aiden's objective in his deployment zone, and I've got 2 there for holding the middle, and I've got 1 for that one over there, the 7, and the Warlord here. Uh, I've got a line breaker as well. So I got eight points. Uh, you had your first strike, first blood. So, yeah. so as the end, uh, it was a rumble. Go on to the post game discussion. Right, so that's the end of that. So that is the end of that. So so. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's the end of the match. Uh, Right. Nice one, son. Yeah. That was a. Uh, that was very good. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of. <laughs> you can't say that. I'm what a fing load of. <laughs> load of <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, you're ruining my family friendly <laughs> channel. <laughs> right, so what, what would you. I've done definitely a uh, uh, except for not choose Crimson Sword. Uh, choose a different. Uh, <laughs> I choose Black Legion straight away. Uh, um, my list. I mean, the Imperial Guard didn't do much in my list. They were just sort of there. Uh, Lehman Russ. Lehman Russ did a decent amount. Mm. Uh, and then like a couple of lucky auto cannon shots, but yeah, they I, held. I could have. They held. Yeah, they held the places. Yeah, I could have easily swapped them for Space Marines, though. Um, yeah, my... I like those, like, Imperial Guard holding the line, and then Imperial, uh, the Space Marines, like, with the spearhead, oh, yeah. it went in. 
my um my combo tag team combo squad in the uh, in the land raider lieutenant and the chaplain yeah. pretty good together yeah. and Terminator is just awesome mm. so it's for the land raider I suppose well I didn't want to go for like your your strongest boys I just wanted to well, kill yeah. everyone didn't really they weren't even there no. yeah kill the land raider kill like Bunch of marines and stuff, so land I'm raiders, possessed. The land raider spying on one wound. Oh, yeah, my land raider. Oof. The, the morphine did really badly. Yeah. It was just, I, was, I was just luck, though, isn't it? Like, uh, there was a lot of luck. <laughs> a hell of a lot of luck. A lot of psychic things didn't go very good. For no. You. It was terrible. The last cans didn't do no. a lot at all. It wasn't much. The, me the melter guns, when they all came in, shot, I shot eight melters. No, I shot four melters. Oh yeah, yeah. And four last cans up, and I did what six wounds to the land raider. Mm -hmm. Not the best of things at all, and um, just bad rolls. Fortune did badly. Morphine did badly. The land raider did badly. The Havocs did badly. Terminators did bad there. <laughs> they did do pretty crap. <laughs> they killed oh, they two, killed two guardsmen. guardsmen and then the guardsmen killed one back. Yeah. Oof. Not, yeah. not having actual rules for my Crimson Slaughter is also a big pain in the ass, especially when I'm going up against all trains, whose rules is literally can retreat out of combat and still well, shoot you. I only did that once. You like in one turn. Yeah. You yeah. only had two wound, two, three wounds mm. left. That's only a chip. I mean, Imagine if you had to roll for that. that would I'm so sort of depressed. <laughs> if it's hard to be happy <laughs> in this situation. Look, it was revenge, right? For the last one. Revenge was there. And your revenge in the last one was revenge for my original Atrocity. Atrocity. <laughs> Atrocities against mankind. Atrocities against chaos kind. <laughs> well, we just have to, you know, revenge again, don't we? Re revenge against Crimson revenge. Slaughter versus Cadians. Yeah. Lehman Russ Battalion. Only exalted champion. Is it nothing? Kill the land raider. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty disappointing. He attacked the. Uh, Chap. Timmy? No, the Terminators. I, sh I probably should have attacked like, the Lieutenant. Yeah. Any final words for the f you? <laughs> the f you do. <laughs>